What's the deal? Family, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another banger for y'all, man. So look. We got Poetic Flacco. Disrespects no jumper and screams at his boss. Alright, man. We about to run it up one time for the one time. This is brought to us by uh, Point and Shoot. Make sure to go check him out, man. I be watching some of his videos on my own, man. Sometimes he's really good at just covering some of the highlights and some of the stuff going on. Uh, pretty much his videos are mostly about no jumper, but I think he incorporates a few other things in there. But, yeah, make sure to go run him up to 20K, man. Uh, but this is something I did not necessarily see coming. Like, if anything, I thought this would have happened months ago. But it finally happened, man. Flacco crashed out, man. And, uh... He went at no jumper. He screamed at his boss. I don't know if that's going to be Josh or Adam. But either way, it don't look good. Let's see what happens, man. I'm going to give my thoughts as the video goes. After he crashed out the other day on no jumper news. All right, so it looks like Poetic Flacco might be in a little bit of hot water with his employer after he crashed out the other day on No Jumper News. And he basically went on this unhinged tirade about how No Jumper is basically a joke to him and he and that they're not a respected collective when it comes to hip hop and that No Jumper's employees' opinions don't really mean anything when it comes to the entertainment industry. Well, this didn't go over very well with Sharp and No Jumper's operations manager, Sassy Josh, who called Flacco out on his disrespect oh, No why you? operations manager, Sassy. Why you doing burner like that? <laughs> Why you throwing burner under the bus though, man? Come on. Josh, who called Flacco <laughs> out on his disrespect for no jumper and abruptly ended the stream. Hopefully to uh, reprimand Flacco. And I'd like to cover this for you guys, uh, but first I need to explain how this situation started. So the day before on No Jumper News, Flacco was arguing with this guy Remo about Flacco's Young Dolph YouTube video that he made that has 1.5 million views. So Flacco thinks that this YouTube video is the biggest documentary, the most impactful documentary in hip hop in the last 10 years. Well, obviously uh, some people have a- Whoa. The most impactful documentary in 10 years. From 2013 till now, the most impactful documentary. I mean, the shit is good. I've seen, I think I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I'm pretty sure it's good. But the most impactful in 10 years? That's crazy. That's, that's insane. I'm not the problem lie. with that, Remo, who's 100% in the right, calls him out on it and just not allowing someone to spew nonsense in your presence in front of an audience, calling them out on it, that doesn't make you a hater, that just makes you keeping it a band. Do you understand? That's not just saying something negative or, or having a, a take on something that's not uh, dick riding isn't hating. You guys need to understand this. So Flacco's just egomaniacally arguing, screaming into the mic, stutter, spastically stuttering to the point where it, it looks, they look like little baby seizures at this point. And it's really just something else. It's something to watch at least. And so this argument's going on. And then Flacco also makes the assertion that he would be as big as he is now uh, and have the same audience he has now and be the same brand he is now if he had never been on No Jumper and that No Jumper basically didn't even help him and that he's just he's just here to collect the paycheck to send to his imaginary girlfriend. That's what he's saying basically to me. So this is absolutely crazy that Flacco thinks that he's bigger and better than No Jumper. I mean, this is- Yo, him jumping up and down like that is insane, bro. <laughs> like, what is you on, fam? Bro is having bro is having a manic episode. He crashing out, bro. He a cra he a crash out specialist right now, man. It explains why he doesn't really talk about no jumper on his own platform. It's all flacco, 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 flacco. He doesn't give a fuck about no jumper. He doesn't like no jumper. He doesn't respect no jumper. He's just building himself up so to where he can make the uh, his exit when he sees fit. He's basically using no jumper while laughing at them behind their backs let's look at our first clip it's going to be remo and josh checking flacco in his comments about how he would be just as big now with or without no jumper basically fuck no jumper they've done nothing to help me and josh and remo are like even josh is like you have skyrocketed in popularity and remo's like man keep it a band man you ain't good. so this is actually a really uh stupendous little clip let's uh let it play never helps you up because i ain't never heard of you until you that's not being up. selected though that is a good point, though. How though? You just trying because to make you you got an opportunity. These yes. people got. Opportunity. I never heard of Flacco. No, no, so he got on no jumper. Who? So you saying well, all well, this? No, well, you yes. But Have anybody in this room heard of Flacco? You, yes. So he got on no jumper? But trust me. Skyrocketed. 
Has anyone in this room heard of Flacco T? He got oh, on our jumper. Let's keep it a band. I had the most important who knows the verse card. All these questions. You guys have to be questions. What's the yes or no? Almighty, have you heard of Flacco T? He got on our jumper. That zoom in is crazy. I did it. Deshaun, did you hear of Flacco T? He got on our jumper. No, this ear stopped working a minute ago. Let's keep it a buck. I never heard of this nigga till he got on no jumper. <laughs> Let's keep it a bean. I never heard of this nigga till he got on no jumper. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Like, everybody gets introduced to everybody through, through something. You got to get it introduced through something. I never heard of this nigga before no jumper. Into the whole employees versus bosses conversation, which he is now employed. He was calling T Rail and AD employees because he wanted to speak to the boss. And the boss didn't want to speak to this nigga because nobody heard of this nigga before. Now, he is now an employee. He, he literally. Now he is an employee, my nigga. <laughs> and guess who's boss is now? T Rail is now a boss on his own shit. AD is now a boss on his own shit, and he is now an employee of No Jumper, where he was coming down on the employees of No Jumper. That shit is crazy. So he better get up out this conversation real quick, because all all those all that conversation come right back on him real fast. You better keep it. If he keep, he better keep it about the Flacco documentary. Keep it on the documentary, because you start talking all this other stuff now, bro. You in the same position, so. I'm just throwing that out there, bro. And me being from L.A., bro, I agree with some of the stuff that this guy be talking about, Dijon Paul. But uh, the way he comes at things is very off-putting. And uh, I can see it easily why a lot of people might not like him just by, by the way he moves. But uh, some of the stuff he does say I do agree with. You know, I'm going to keep it a thousand. But, yeah, I never heard of him until he got on jumper either. So he in the same position. No. All oh, right. Come over here. Over here. All this right. Thing. Great though, right? Uh huh. <laughs> Let me like actually like this nigga tweak it, bro. Break down my catalog, right? Break that shit down. I, I oh my god, this is where Flacco starts talking about his stupid ass YouTube video that only has like a million and a half views. There's like cooking videos. There's barbecue videos that have more than that. And he thinks he impacted the world. He thinks that his video changed lives, uh, you know, impacted the world. Watch this. And I just want to say, whose auntie is this? I, I can't stand Oh, he this called guy. him this an auntie. off the screen. <laughs> I mean, I, really, I'm ordering you guys to fire this guy and get him out. Throw this guy out. He's he called his nigga he auntie, bro. one of the problems with Flacco. Oh, He's shit. a Flacco ego enabler. The most impactful hip-hop documentary in the last 10 years. That's oh, cap. Shit. Nigga, I, that's, that is crazy. That's Before cap. Trouble, wait. The wait. most impactful. We ain't wait, 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 I'll be honest. Trap Lord Ross probably got a few documentaries more impactful than, than that one. I'm just be honest. The most impactful hip hop documentary. I'm trying to break it down for y'all, right? Break it down. Let him cook. Let him cook. Break it down. Let him cook. Let him land. Let him land. I, me personally, in my basement, and after a nine hour shift at work, I got off, came to my fucking computer, right? Oh, yeah, right, right? And recorded the most impactful shit ever. In 10 years. Wait. And it's nobody in this room 10 years. years right? That shit impacted the world. 1.6 million views. Right. I, me personally, in my basement, yes. right? Who's seen that documentary okay. in this room? This is you. Yeah, that's my man. I fuck with Flacco. But we got to do that. Man, 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 but we not finna do that, nigga. 1.6 million views. Y'all know who is in this room. 1.6 million views. Bought myself as an independent creator. I'm just keeping it 100. Right? 1.6 million views. This my boy. 1.6 million views as an independent creator. I respect the Flacco. But he's a man. 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 But he's a me, bro. Wait, 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 without the help of No Jumper. He think he see he doesn't respect No Jumper. He doesn't think No Jumper does anything for anybody's career. Watch the oh, Is you crazy? No, I'm keeping is it. Is you bed. out of your mind? Is you out of your mind to say Flacco? Poetic Flacco 
won't be me without no drug don't say that. I don't think you would. I don't think you would have said that. Out of your I don't say you would have said that. Bro, let's keep it on it. Let's golf numbers reflective of how fast you got your content out about something that was very viral or the quality. Oh no 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 oh no oh wait wait wait. Yes 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 please right here. We gotta keep it a band though. And that's called a monkey wrench. What he just did is monkey wrench. Come on, monkey wrench. In an argument. Of course. Great production. Yeah. Quick though. So, yo, I love the fact Almighty's love for this. Because Almighty, well, I actually heard of him. He's one of the few guys. I actually heard of him before he was on No Jumper. Just like AD and a few other guys that's, that's been a part of No Jumper before. But uh, So I love the fact he's just laughing this all up. But uh, here's here's the thing, though, man. I feel like Flacco's trying to have like his big act moment. And it's just like, bro, you not necessarily. Like, it took a long time for academics to put out content for years before he had that big act moment where it was like I'm actually shitting on all you niggas you know I know I know Poetic Flocko he's a student of academics you know what I mean uh, and he's trying to find a way to carve out his own lane in doing that but you're not academics yet bro now, that's not to come at him and say that he ain't doing nothing, he ain't putting any work. I mean, if you look at the subscribers on my channel versus his channel, he killing me off, bro. But I'm just being realistic. Like, you not academic. Academics put in work for a long time and did a lot of viral shit, a lot of crazy shit, a lot of uh, informative stuff, just entertainment, whatever, before he became big act. Like, and just started just, in, like, are you shitting on everybody? You feel me? Like, I don't know. And that's not to say I didn't have moments like that, but like Flacco, you got to do a little bit more, man. You just got to do <laughs> a little bit more. And the crazy part is I noticed that on his uh, Flacco's been doing better views. You know, he's been consistently getting more views on his channel. So I don't know if that's playing a part in like the ego boost that's uh, happening. Kind of like his channel just like boosted up a little bit in the algorithm. So it's kind of like a, a, a ego boost. You know, got a battery in his back now or something. Flacco is unhinged, calling people crazy for thinking that No Jumper helped him get to where he's at in his career. And then three, let's No Jumper, right? And has helped me to make connections and, and like meet people that I wouldn't have met without it. And introduce you to a new audience. That, yes, yes. A bigger audience than what you yeah. had. No duh, right? Yeah, no duh. But, 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 but you just trying to, of course. Yes, yes, that's yes, cap. Yeah, no, you wouldn't fuck. Yes, I love but, you, gang, but, but you just. But we don't, yeah. Hold on. I can't believe this guy is gonna stick up for Flacco and argue semantics. That's because he's in the well, same no, situation. There's a, chance. there's a half of a half of a percent that that could happen. He's saying that because he realized that exact conversation could be used against him as well. So he's like, shit, hold up, because now he's on a no jumper trying to get clout from him to build his own shit. So yeah. That's why he's defending it, because he sees himself in Flacco. Fuck this guy. All right, let's do a poll. <laughs> How many people in the chat heard of Flacco before he got on oh, No Jumper versus no, when he got on? Like we're on No Jumper. I don't, don't like what you're doing. People, no, people, no, people, no, people, 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 people are here and they bring their audience So you're saying, hold on, you're saying it's zero percent chance that, zero percent chance that Flacco could be at the same status Without no jumper. If I'm not saying it's a zero percent chance. I'm saying that, and that's all I'm saying. saying that 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 99.9% chance I would have been here. I'm, I'm saying that there is a percent, there is a chance. So that's all I'm saying. There's, there's a, a chance. There's an alternative universe where Flacco made it big without no jumper. Now we're talking alternative universes. I won't tell my numbers. I won't tell the numbers, but it is possible. No jumper helped me to meet new people on. Another audience, I give them credit for it. Well, I'm saying right, right now. You say on your own. I would nice. have been at ninety. Nice right? I would have been at ninety-seven thousand right. subscribers. Yeah. Twelve months later, on my own. Right? But cat. But I am lucky that I got exposed to a larger audience, and I'm forever thankful and grateful for that. But Oliver But Anthony, the grind on, you feel me? Like, you know. Oliver and Call him. I see your shit. Y'all get into semantics. Y'all get into real semantics about an opportunity. What? Opportunity is an opportunity. Now, if you want to say it's type one and it's type two, then that's what we can agree on. It's two different types of opportunities, but a lot Being of people given one is different has been given opportunities, and, you know, shout out to everybody. Yeah.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so this topic will carry over to the next show, the one that Bro is acting like a child. Where Sharp comes on and he can barely breathe. But he comes on and he's uh, he basically grills Flacco about his comments uh, that he saw on this show. And because uh, there was a lot of stuff in the Reddit and stuff. And Flacco doubles down and basically says, fuck no jumper, basically. Watch this. Yeah. And I appreciate the intro. Um, I watched what you did yesterday. Though. I watched also. I, I have to. I just want to know, like, what was going through your head yesterday when you when you sat up and snapped and you snapped. You no, nah, no, no, here, right? I won't call it like like. All right, I did notice something a little subtle. It may be nothing, but it might be everything. And I'll explain what I mean. I think that there's something going on where Adam Twenty Two, and this is all my opinion. I believe that Adam Twenty Two has instructed his employees not to roast or be mean to Flacco in any way. And I think he's doing this because he doesn't want to get criticized by other platforms, if you know what I mean, for uh, allowing bullying in the workplace and stuff like that. And, you know, for uh, labor laws and stuff. But what's really interesting is Sharp just sits here and doesn't say anything the whole time until Josh starts getting on Flacco. And then that, to me, is like where Sharp starts feeling comfortable coming down on Flacco at that point. And And only at that point. Again, almighty suspect. Why doesn't he ever uh, roast Flacco anymore? He just sits there and laughs and just shows up for a paycheck and just doesn't say anything to Flacco anymore. I really think there's a rule in place not to make fun of the special one. Okay, isn't that something? Now let's continue with these clips. Got legal, my shit hit world news, BBC, TMZ, my shit went. Uh, point and shoot, I don't know your name, but you're right. You are correct. I, I can hundred, if y'all remember, bro, whoever's watching this, there was a point in time where Flacco was literally complaining about getting bullied at work. There was a point in time that was a thing. AD, like, bro, you got to step up for yourself. This was AD and all them was still there. It, it was this whole thing about Flacco was just basically getting bullied all the time, especially by Almighty Suspect, would be coming at that fool's life. Almighty was just bullying everybody he could find to bully, uh, whether it was um, Lush, whether it was Icon, whether it was uh, uh, Flacco, like he was, it, it was a lot of videos that was just going not necessarily viral, but they were catching a lot of attention from people who watched because Flacco was just getting bullied and clowned like no other for a few months. It was bad. Then Lush came along, and then the heat kind of died off a little bit, but they were still on him. And uh, some point after that, everything got shut down. Global, where did this shit go? Did any of them reach out? Any of these publications? No, nobody reached hey, out the to you. Ever reach out or did they they reach stole out? my information they just, they just and republished it. it. That's fucked up, man. You said it. I'm just saying way. the people in you this room have not seen it. Because niggas that don't jump for that see it. So what's your argument? Is it everybody got to see it? Or niggas that don't jump for the liquid test? If it's that impactful, niggas would have seen it. So what's your argument? Niggas that no jumper did not see it. So this wasn't impactful. So who's your audience? What are you talking about? Who's your bro, if niggas didn't see it, how I'm asking no a very though, direct and simple question. It's no jumper <laughs> employees, the ligament test for what's impactful this in hip hop. This is a hip hop based yes. platform, yes. Yes. This is a hip hop based yes. platform. This is a hip hop based platform, bro. Y'all are out of your mind and wrong. Yes. Y'all are out of your mind and wrong. We just, nigga, you, you know, wrong, bro. You right, the only nigga here vouching for yourself. Right. Everybody ain't seen it, bro. Right, right, <laughs> right. And, no, and, everybody ain't seen right. a documentary to be like, I to be disagree with the bro. statements Man, of Josh no jumper employee. Really fed up with Flacco running his mouth about how stupid no jumper is, basically. And so now Sharp is going to actually start going in. Nah, you can't, you can't even accept Y'all niggas is wrong, though. Y'all are wrong. I personally don't agree with no jumper employees or the Lakeman test for what's in Pac-4 and hip hop. If y'all do, we disagree then. Right? And it's that like simple. We have right? a disagree. I see exactly you know what he's what doing. doing. What though? No, I, I disagree. I, I, I think y'all are out of your mind by saying no jumper employees or the Lakeman test for what's in Pac-4 and hip hop. I think you're out of your mind. talking about? <laughs> litmus test, litmus test. But uh, what do y'all think on that? Because this is how I personally feel. It used to be impactful. No Jumper it used to be impactful, especially when Adam was doing all the... Under, he was getting all the underground artists that was blowing up, going crazy, that the mainstream was not rocking with. Now things are a little different. People rock with artists more. But at that time, bro, a lot of people weren't rocking with a lot of these underground artists. It was like, eh, you know what I mean? But he was rocking with them. Adam was rocking with them. 
So for a, a SoundCloud artist or, you know, an underground artist, um, their biggest opportunity was no jumper. So at one point, it was very, very impactful. Nowadays, nah. I mean, it, it went from that to, like, there was, like, a weird transitionary period, and then it went to, like, gang banging and hood shit. It was, like, it was in, more impactful in the streets and with gangs than it is with actual music and artists and entertainment industry, right? You could even argue it's still kind of like that. Uh, it's still very much gang and streets focused rather than rather than being music and entertainment focused they still do the news and stuff but you know, they still get a lot of underground artists and then and artists that's on to come up and even bigger artists in certain cases but uh it's definitely leaned more towards just street shit hood shit ghetto shit gang banging shit shit like that <laughs> that's pretty much what it is now that people go there for only fans girls popping up over there and shit just it's it's just a lot of it's a lot of drama and all that so nah i don't think it's impactful in hip hop no more but the way flocko is saying this it sounds very disrespectful um to your co-workers and to the company that you work for it just comes off real bad and like real negative rather than like constructive criticism now, fuck us, the fuck we're all here for? If y'all agree, then I disagree. It's that simple, then. We just have different definitions. Then what are you, then what are you to know no jumper? Then what uh, are you to know jumper? What are you to know jumper, bro? Uh, what? What do you mean? Come on, dog. What? If you're sitting there saying that none of the employees are in, like, it doesn't matter what we say about hip-hop or I, anything, like, what the fuck are you? Because, nigga, you sitting right here with us, homie. That as you know what I said, that shit off the block. Yes. No. That's yes, basically it is. That's, that's how, that's yes, how it's coming it across, though. Y'all just, just said. different, and you're right. Y'all just here. said that if niggas have right jump with the NCO shit, it's not impactful. I say y'all are wrong. Bro, nobody. Yo. You just can see how crazy. You One, right? All of right? Us. No, 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 all of us, right? including yourself, it, bro. It's the truth, though. I don't think you right? see it. Right? You're continuing to embarrass yourself. I personally don't dictate what's impactful in hip hop. Hence, nobody here dictate that, right? Right? Yeah, right? The knowledge of what is is what our job is. Josh, bro, listen, Josh. What? When that is what their job and that's what they're covering, you're talking about a new it takes much more than 10 employees, Josh, to dictate yeah, what's impactful. I, I, I cool. It, it takes much more. You're not contributing then? I'm saying it takes much more than 10 to 15 to 20 people to dictate what's impactful in hip hop. All right, so switch it up, man. Who went to the most I don't agree with that because academics is impactful um, in the music industry, and he's just one person. So uh, I disagree with that statement. And I can name other people that have that. Teams are small that do that. <laughs> Just told us our company wasn't it's fucking it's shit, it's bro. It's all about what you decided to put bro. focus you on. You said our company ain't shit. You said and what the yeah, fuck are we doing around here, yeah. bro? Why what? the fuck are we even doing the news? Why are we doing interviews with people? Why are we doing anything? We're nobodies. Like fuck out of here yeah. with that shit. Y'all are wrong, though, but y'all told me that. Wait. How though? Because you made it the most extreme example of not being a leader. Fucking crazy, bro. You have employees here collectively. All right, so this is where Flacco realizes he fucked up and he's got the boss mad at him now. So now he's going to change his story. He's going to walk his comments back. And now he's going to say that he wasn't directing uh, his disdain just towards No Jumper. He was saying that no hip hop platform in existence knows anything about hip hop. That's what he's trying to say. And it's really pathetic that he's uh, backpedaling like this, but let's watch this. No jumpers not tapped into what's going on in hip hop. You're saying we don't know what's impactful or what's That's not their impactful. insecurities, though, right? It no, no. Like it means like 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 something, though. Like 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 I said what I said for a fact. Bro, he said the people in DC, so his life is All right, just for the record, Flacco is saying that his boss is insecure, that he's wrong, that he's crazy, that he's basically stupid. And that he doesn't have any respect for him. This is what Flacco's basically saying. Okay. And it made me want to tell you, well, why don't you go up to Hip Hop Now TV and go fuck with Yeah, it seemed like you're trying to say you more tapped in than That's what I was like. Well, why don't you take that? I was saying you're tapped in, but you're not utilizing the skills here. Take your talent. What are you even talking about? What are you tapping in? Because you're discounting the cap, right? You're discounting your contributions here. Josh, you're making sure this point, bro. Y'all making sure this point, bro. And he said word for word. I'm literally repeating myself. People in here did not see it, so his is not impactful. So what I said was, 10 people in a, again, right, in here, right? A 10-person sample. Well, well, yeah, right? Does not dictate what's impactful in a hip-hop industry. 
hands and getting on, right? And, and right? It takes the collective. I said what? It takes the collective. That's not the same thing. No matter what y'all try to you feel me, spit it as as y'all opinion don't mean Locked shit. There's just an outright that. flip and a you lie, didn't say bro. Say that for maybe thirty minutes later. I said it in that part, Josh. No, you didn't. Yo, are y'all crazy? Hey man, no, I, I, <laughs> yes, understand. Are, I understand. where this So if I said collective in that video, that's your podcast. Right, right, Josh. Dude, so, let's. All right, we're gonna. Yo, this nigga about to go, this nigga about to pop the trunk on niggas at no jumper, bro. I would be, maybe that's why Sharp was quiet at first, because he's like, man, this nigga ready to pop the trunk on the niggas. He is ready to go up in the trunk, grab two AK-47s, couple handguns, <laughs> and go up in there going crazy. Come on, did you see that? And that video starts to apologize. Insane. Right? Right, Josh? Dude, let's. All right, we're gonna go off stream, Flacco, and we're gonna watch this right now. Damn, that's crazy that Flacco's literally wilding an apology from Josh and like essentially telling him to kiss the ring. I think Flacco thinks he's bigger than No Jumper. I'm not even kidding. That's not even a, a joke or anything. I think Flacco thinks that No Jumper hmm. can't fire him. He's too important. He's he's too influential. He's too impactful. That's what I think. I think Flacco is so maniacally crazy with this ego shit. He puts himself in the same category as academics and Trapler Ross. The guy is completely nuts. I would be interested in hearing Flacco's thoughts about Josh, like his own private thoughts. I think Flacco thinks Josh is a fucking idiot that doesn't know shit and that Flacco's uh, way more successful and has way more everything than Josh. That's how Wow. You know, I just think Flacco, I don't know if it's a random, I don't know if it's an ego boost because like I said, his recent videos... They've been doing good. He's been going from, like, well, I think it was, like, thousands of views to, like, each one is getting 10, 20 plus uh, thousand views. So I don't know if it's that, you know, like, feeling that little ego boost from that or if he's just going through, like, a fucking manic episode type shit or maybe he's just over it. Maybe he's about to put in that two weeks. He's on his way out and this is him crashing out before he leaves. Um... You know, how many how many times have you heard the story of somebody leaving a job and then their whole goal is to like when they return back to that job, they're supposed to be at a, you know, the next at the next level, just higher up level. Right. It's always like, fuck this place. I'm going to boss up and do my own thing. So I don't know if that's the arc that he's trying to go on. But well, it's interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see like what comes in the next few weeks of this. If he stays with no jumper, does he leave no jumper? Does he go on his uh does he go on that revenge arc and just blows up, blows up to a million subscribers? Does he fall off and get off YouTube and duck off from the internet? Like, anything could go anyway. It's just interesting to see it all play out, man. Anyways, uh, if you stuck around, man, appreciate y'all. Uh, get at me in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Go uh, check out Point and Shoot, his channel over there. And that's it, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is brand real. Always reaches everyone. Next time. Peace.